Marty. And Marty, we'll oh, talk to you. And we'll hear, talk to you here in just a little while, uh, uh, Chuck. You know, it's real interesting. This morning, we've already hit the big news today, the, the weather and the closings. Those are your headlines. And, yep. of course, we'll try and settle the baseball strike later. There's another member of the CBS uh, This Morning crew that's in town. And, uh, I mean, uh, good old guy. Good old guy. Not born and raised here, but spent his formidable years here and got yep. his career started here back on the old WKTK. Everybody remember that? Sure. Holy cow. Jessica Avenue. Disco 105 at a time. <laughs> He's now down at his alma mater, Ronald High School, ladies and gentlemen, Mark McEwen. Hello, hey. Bubba, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, boy? When I left here, remember Ted Agnew? Your kind of guy, Ted Agnew is. He was Spiro once he went off and went to be a vice president. Only a Marylander would know that, because I remember the commercials with Ted Agnew. Sure. I'm in Arundel High School. Marty and Don were having a great time. We're going to interview my old wrestling coach, Buddy Hepfer, who helped make me a man. Uh -oh. That's a capital M on man. man. How, and we're gonna... how long has you been back in there? It has been, I haven't been here whew, over 20 years. Wow. Where are you right now? Are you in the principal's office again? I, no, yeah, I am in the principal's <laughs> office right now, and you know I've done something wrong. Actually, that's the main entrance. Uh, the kids okay. are going to be coming in in just a second. And we're, is it still F Hall? Do we still have F Hall and stuff? Well, I remember when we were kids, we were nervous because F Hall just kind of went off into darkness. You never knew how long F Hall was. We're going to explore F Hall F today. So you're going to talk to and Buddy. Who else are you going to talk to? I didn't mean to cut you off. We talked to Buddy Hepp. We're going to talk to some of the kids I used to be. Uh, I was sports editor of the newspaper here. I was editor of the literary magazine. My name is still up on the board for having an undefeated season back in 1972. Well, That's back, you. that was when wrestling was spelled... Gotcha. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. WKTK. Hey, yeah. yes. Oof. That's well, a we were, long time ago. We, were, we, had, we just met for the first time last night. I mean, I've always thought you know, I've always thought you were a video stud. You do good work. But hey, thank uh, you. man, I found out you worked at KTK. Let's go. Let's just let's just go yeah. back for a while. Mid seventies. Yep. Uh, Lou Krieger. Lou Krieger was the program director. I would think it was Frank Adair, Chuck Decody. Those are people who were oh, on wow. the air. Chuck. Woo, Boy, you know, yeah. Chuck's a big broadcast executive now. What the uh, He has to wear a tie. Hubba hubba. hubba. <laughs> Coming up today, we're going to have a piece with uh, Tony Coulter, who's going to be on it. Tony is my best bud. He, we all grew up here on Fort Meade, Maryland, and out in Crownsville. He's on DC 101. Yeah. My brother's on 98 Rock at WIYY, Kirk McEwen. He's going to be on that. Sure. That'll be about 10 till 8. Okay. And my mom will be crying through the whole show. <laughs> hey, go, go, go. Well, you mentioned Fort Meade. That's why you came to Maryland, right? That's right. Pop was a colonel in the Air Force. We moved here. I remember we were moving here from Berlin, Germany. I had to look on the map. I didn't know where Maryland was. But we moved here in 1966. And if you're a sportsman, what happened in 1966 yeah, to the mighty Baltimore serious. Oreos? Big Knocked the Dodgers right off, didn't we? Yeah. Big time. Did you have tickets? No, I was too young to have tickets back then, but I watched it on television. <laughs> just wondered. Just back wondered. then, tickets were available. I don't think they sold that out. I don't think they sold that series in. Got a question for you. What's Do you that? remember they used to call Jim Palmer, Jimmy Pancake Palmer? Sure. sure. Yeah, see? Maryland guys know that because they had a picture of him eating pancakes before every time he pitched. He would. When he's a youngster. Outside, everybody else thinks he just sells underwear and money stores. You know, I know, I know some people in Northwest that are friendly with Jim and still refer to him as Cakes. Pancakes Palmer, sure. Yeah, they, they see seriously. That? Hey, where'd you guys used to hang out down there? We used to hang out in Crofton, Maryland. Uh, we used to come down and bowl in Odenton. I believe they still have the bowling lanes up on the hill here in Odenton. Uh, I remember um, Fort Meade was where we used to run a little bit. We used to come into Baltimore every now and again uh, just to kind of hang out. As I got older, we hung more and more in Baltimore. That you and, did. Uh, How was the block back then? Well, anyway. You know, the block back then, well, I was the guy standing in the middle holding up the lit bick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, Blaze is still kicking. Blaze, Blaze? Star, uh, Blaze uh, lives out in Carroll County and, and uh, sells jewelry at the Carroll Town, Town, Mall. Town Mall. Blaze Star, a talented person. Let me tell you That's something, a, a real honest to goodness Baltimore legend. Hey, listen, uh, you having fun with this morning show? You, do, you, you are doing really bang up work. Having a ball, you know, I'm always on the road. Uh, just cover the Golden Globes. The uh, Grammys are coming up. The Oscars are coming up. But I'll tell you, Marty and Don, the world. I've been to Norway for the Winter Olympics, Alberville. We've been to, to the south of France. We've been to London. We're going back to London in May. You know, it's a pinch me. You know, it's one of these dreams come true. And to come back to Arundel High School is such a hoot. Well, listen. You're when you walk around as a kid, you're thinking, you know, maybe someday. Yeah, and maybe here we someday. are. We're back. Well, I tell you what, we're going to Rome. We'll catch you guys out live. Uh, uh, from 7 to 9, we'll look for your report about yeah. 10 till 8. It was great meeting you. We'll see you here later. You really are a right guy. And I know talent when I see it. Both got it. It's a hey, pleasure uh, to be on with hey, the, you. Hey, the Mutual bat bat Backpacking yeah. Society is going to, uh, hey, <laughs> a true member of the IVF, the International Brotherhood of Freeloaders, a member of the media, Mr. Mark McEwen. Talk to you later, man. Bye-bye. Take bye -bye. care, bye -bye. man. Yeah.
seen the capital of the world, but he's lucky to be back in Odenton. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> From Albert Hill, Odenton. You gotta love it. Yeah, you gotta yeah. love it. All right. Odenton Lane. Wow. 647. We're going to take a break right here, and we're going to come back with uh, more stuff. And.